let's look at our learning for target for today. It says, I can compare and justify numbers in standard form through 999,999 using the symbols greater than, less than, and equal to. So today we're gonna to be comparing numbers written in our standard form, and we're gonna use our symbols greater than, less than, and equal to to compare our two numbers. So let's look at a few examples. Example number one, we have 20,080, and we're going to be comparing it to 20,808. One strategy you can use to compare numbers is line them up vertically so you can compare each place value. So I've done that for us already. All I did was take one of our numbers and just rewrite it up underneath the other number. Be careful because you wanna make sure that the value, the places line up. So if this eight is in the ones place, I need to line it up right underneath the number in the ones place here as well. When we compare numbers, we start on the left. So this two is in our 10 thousands place, giving it a value of 20,000. So as we're comparing these numbers, we have a two and a two. That is not gonna tell us which one is larger. So we move on to the next place. We have a zero and a zero. Still not gonna help us. Now we have a zero and an eight. Now these two numbers are different. So let's stop and think, which one has a greater value? Does the, these didn't help us. So does the zero or the eight have a greater value? And we know that the eight has a greater value. So that means 20,808 is greater than 20,080. That means 20,080 is less than 20,808. And remember our trick, the symbol, we can think of this as a mouth and it opens towards the largest number. So this sentence reads, 20,080 is less than 20,808. Let's look at another example. We have 778,533, and we're gonna compare that to 711,204. Again, we can compare we need to compare each place starting on the left. If you need to, you can go ahead and write your number underneath the other one so you can see easily the places comparing to each other. I'm going to try this one without lining it up vertically. I know that this seven and this seven are both in my hundred thousands place. But because they're the same number, that doesn't help me. So let's move on to the next digit. Now I have another seven and a one. Let's think, which has a greater value? Does the seven in my 10,000s place or the one in my 10,000s place have a greater value? Seven in the 10,000s place is worth 70,000. One in the 10,000s place is worth 10,000. So here we can see that the seven is larger, making this number greater than this number. So let's read the number sentence. 778,533 is greater than, remember greater than, it's the going to be open toward the larger number. Think about a mouth. It's greater than 711,204. Okay, let's look at our third example. See if you notice anything different about these two numbers. Let's read them first. 306,458, and we're going to be comparing it to 91,924. Now, 
One thing you may think is a three and a nine, so the nine must be larger. However, we need to stop and think about place value. What place is this three in? It is in the hundred thousands place. We can quickly draw a little place value organizer underneath. So this would be the hundred thousands, the ten thousands, the thousands, the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. This was in the hundred thousands place. What place is our nine in? If we start on the right, we can work toward the left, the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, and the ten thousands place. So our nine is in the ten thousands place, and our three is in the hundred thousands place. Since we do not have a digit in the hundred thousands place, what can we put to fill this space? We could put a zero. That way, when you're comparing numbers, you have an even, you have the same amount of digits in each number. If we were to write this one underneath, it would look like this. I'll put this one on top here. 91 924. So you can see, since we don't have anything here, we can fill this place with a zero. So now as we go to compare, we can quickly see zero is less than three. So we have zero in the hundred thousands place or three hundred thousand. And we know that three hundred thousand is greater. So we put the greater than symbol. So we have 306,458 is greater than 91,924. This one was tricky. So you don't wanna just look at which number comes first. You have to make sure you think about the place value. Let's look at our last example. We have 13,005. We're gonna be comparing it to 13,005. So if you want, you can write the number, one number up underneath the other one, or let's see if we can do it without having to rewrite the numbers. So we check and make sure they are in the same place values. So we have a one and a one in the 10 thousands place. We have a three and a three in the thousands place. That doesn't help us yet. We have a zero and a zero in the hundred place. We have a zero and a zero in the tens place. We still don't know. And we have a five and a five in the ones place. So we checked every number and they are the same. That must mean that these two numbers are equal. So we can read our number sentence. Three, 13,005 is equal to 13,005. So let's look back at our learning target for today. It says, I can compare and justify numbers in standard form through 999,999 using the symbols greater than, less than, and equal to. Now you will try some on your own. If you need extra support, please watch the video again and stop and rewatch as needed. If you still need support, please reach out to your teacher.